Last time on Flipside. Oh my god, he's hanging out already. Going to Girdwood on Saturday. Oh, I thought you did get first on him. You said I couldn't lie. I don't see Volet. Careful with the Swiss. Next Wednesday, I'm gonna go fly home. It's Pow in Alaska. You're gonna really leave. This is Flipside, the show that takes you behind the scenes with the Absinthe Films crew to see what it took to make the snowboard film optimistic. decided to go back to Haines, be with the people I've been spending the whole winter with, enjoy the mountains and the peace, relax and calm down before I was gonna call the season quits. Ending my winter season here in Haines, nice new birthday, fun and birds veranda. Well, are you out of here today? Yeah. You, you sure? <laughs> got your confidence back? Yeah. Sick was here. 13 bombs. Yeah. Get some good shots? Yeah? Yeah, all yeah. Yeah, except for there was no film in the camera. With Nicholas, you don't really need to spend a lot of time to get something good done. Of course, you want to spend a lot of time with one of your best riders. It was really hard to see him leave when we had good conditions, but he had other priorities. Our trip really, really already started on the wrong foot. Didn't got better the whole trip. It was the worst trip. That's been a, a fabulous trip so far. No shots. It's been fun. Oh, you got a shot. I got a shot. <laughs> but not really. Shot. Shot is, to is your it? knee. <laughs> shot to my knee. Shot to your yeah, my knees. Those guys were in Alaska basically when we had the second of our best sessions up here. You know, I'm just thinking, all right, those guys are in Alaska. They're flying helis up there. Potential for good things to happen is enormous. Little did I know they were getting shut down left and right. Like somebody has to leave for the good weather to come, so. Sacrifice. Somebody had to do it. In Alaska, we wait for a long ass time for good conditions to come along, along with good snow. And that was clearly the situation here. If the snow's not conditions. good there, then we go down to Taki. Yeah. And if it's okay. good, then we'll do triple something there. We got back from Anchorage and it was just on. Those other guys who stayed there had one or two sick days already under their belt and trying to get out there and get something done. And we found a sick zone. I was like, oh man, I want to ride this bind down. And And I came up short, I reverted on my landing, road switch through the first Bergshroom, tried to cab over the second Bergshroom, and my legs just collapsed when I landed. Too bad, it could have been so good. I was at the one point again where I was frustrated to spend such a good day just waiting for the heli the whole time. Later for a while, I started hiking up this big cornice. Once I was up on top, the helicopter came in, which would have given us a lift, but I was already set up for this. I hit the cornice, and I turned out to be a, a good landing, kind of flat. After that, we went home. Those guys got back a little late. I think they got in a day out of, out of a four-day window, which was just yet another blow. So right around then, it was really, really hard to stay optimistic about this whole project. Where's all the other riders in the video? They're kind of just the only players here. There was no spring in Utah this year. It went from somewhat of a winter to summer. It's so hard for people to get out of that summer mode when you're in there. 
and to think about Alaska where it's still powder and big mountains. So the second time up to AK, we ended up coming to Haines. So Mark's the guy who he'll come up for a few days. If it's good, he'll stay, but you know, if it, there's something else going on, he's out, you know, even if you're in Alaska. So he'd been up and back a couple times already. I can't sell you. I don't care how much it costs, man. It's, it's, I can't kick it that long. Now I'm back again, third time in like a month and a half. You guys said it was going to be sunny. It was actually a good addition. No way! Yes, way. Oh, Stone dog. <laughs> Rome dog. What's <laughs> up? I don't think anyone of the crew realized that I'm actually leaving, but definitely was the time. Everybody was so settled in and comfy. Just can't wait all the time on the conditions here. I'm going to just move forward. I had good days here. It was harsh to see Gigi leave because the season was not done and his segment wasn't done. AK-07. You're watching Flipside, the making of the snowboard film Optimistic. I feel with it. Just work their way in here with no, no sleds, no nothing. <laughs> you guys are talking about? I was just talking about how... Now, Gigi just left. But no, I know. My theory on the whole thing is everyone that didn't dedicate themselves to bringing a snowmobile or some setup up here shouldn't be up here anyways. Friends are friends are not friends. It's just because now, like, like, four more people showed up. Let's just hope it clears. Haynes is, is an amazing place for the snowboarding and the heli and whatnot, but the weather is insane. That's when you get to really, really get comfortable with yourself and the people around you. <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> So I'm basically here to go through all the footage. We have Eric, David, and Shane here to film, but I'm not here to film anymore, except for the ultra banger setup, or if we get the helicopter back, which is still a strong possibility. No way, dude. How sick was that? Just some sick film-saving things here. Trying to get the heli here for an evening session. Marco, Roman, and either two camera angles or a third rider being mm -hmm. Volde, probably. PDB. What's the word? It's coming in this evening for tomorrow morning. So. Oh, okay. I'm not flying, and if it's not a sure thing, I want to go out to lab then. OK. There you go. I think, for sure. We already know I don't want to wait till noon. Just let it go. Like, Hey. Yeah, we won't be here till the night. Maybe that's just part of the system of Alaska. The best riding, the most insane spots, but getting over that mental hump of sitting around and then going from nothing to complete crazy activity. That was <laughs> sketchy now, dude. Hi, I'm stoked we didn't went heading today. If it isn't wind or weather, it's avi conditions. Does any of this look like you want to hop on it? Maybe do a jump right there. This mark right there is just... But it was cool this year because we got to see a girl step it up and try to come into the mix. I haven't seen any hit a big thing yet. Annie, she's the next level. I mean, she's writing everything we do. She's doing a line that we do. I'm like, she's really pushing it. The amount of beatings it takes to get to where you see these guys is felt in watching the attempts that Annie took to go to those places. We learned something about you today. What did you learn? You really send her. I send her? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. To my knee on my face? That's better than not doing it at all.
I don't think so. It feels alright right now though. Just need to try to walk. You gotta put ice on it. I need to take a vacation. Came back and said that he felt like he blew his knee again. And I was just like, man, really? <laughs> Harsh one. So that was it for him. Got hurt a little bit again on my injured knee that I had last year, so hopefully it's not too bad and I can be on board again. Helicopter comes up. We got our bluebird day really early in the morning, 5.30. And for Marco, that's, that's crazy. But I just said, look, man, if you do this one day out of the year, have this be the day. Vole, Marco, Shane, Eastone, and I, we all headed up to birthday bowl. snowed all over it again. It was totally fresh. It was scary for me because it was the first time really doing steeper lines. And that from the top? Some of it, yeah. Where you can't see where you're going to kind of try to remember what you saw from the heli. What are you looking at? I don't know. I want to watch Bullock hit Trump first. And then whatever he does not hit, I'll just send my right next to it. I've never seen Mark really be so quiet. I mean, I know it's early for him, too, but... He's never been here before. He definitely had an air of, air of scaredness going. Vole's been here a bunch. You know Mark could hit one Vole's of these feeling pretty go... confident, so that's gonna help out Marco. Vole's ready whenever you guys are. Okay, just a minute on Marco. Got some different angles. Watched Wally and Marco ride. Get dropped off the top two, the two fil the filmer and the photographer. Okay, I'll go drop down, be tall, so they can move into their lines, and I'll go out and get them. Get Marco was just having a hard time figuring out, you know, riding that kind of terrain because, you know, going from riding normal stuff that most people do to just suddenly adapting to that stuff immediately, it's pretty inhuman. Yeah, someone could let him know he doesn't need to ride with that um, crazy vest and that backpack. Dropping. No one says the word because I'm in control. kind of gripped for that one. At first, it takes you a couple runs to get used to the steepness. It's kind of hard to adjust. Well, they had the experience and was getting into some really interesting stuff. I think he got some bangers out there. It's <laughs> scary and fun. This place is scary, though. Hey, uh, All right, he wants to be in the heli shot. Me, 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 I'm in the heli shot. Bully. At one point, Helling was over. That was like we had another sick day at, in birthday ball. That was pretty much the last day we went out Helling. You know. Sylvain came, you know, Sylvain Bourgoussin, a little French guy, came out and over and showed up there. Sylvain was really like, he knew that his part was now, he was on the edge at the time. He doesn't know if he was gonna have a part. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Long journey? Yes, yes. What's up then now? What's up, buddy? Uh, you wait, but you stay in your room to wait. Yeah. <laughs> Go back in your room. So now we are hanging up here because we have all our slats up here. We have Mark Schultz here, who is from Juno. They're renting slats to us and showing us around here on the pass. There's still tons of stuff to do. The snow is really good, and yeah, we're just waiting for the good weather now. Come on, kick it, kick it. What have you guys been doing? Searching for bears. Are you finding me? No. Well, I'm Nothing. Gonna, Found I'm some seals.
whether or not you're doing work or you're editing or anything, it's still to the point of, please, just let us do something else that affects people so differently. That's how I imagine prison would be at times, except we can leave our front door and then see the prison out here. Or building my parts track, you know. It'll be something like this. It's about as exciting as it gets, and then I get depressed again. Each day you're thinking, no way, not another day of sitting around. I almost got killed by that moose. <laughs> and the battery died, man. We gotta find this thing. Start off this rock, son. Oh. Been here chilling now, like three weeks at least. I got two more weeks. Hopefully we get some in the next two weeks too, because I still need more footage. You're watching Flipside, the making of the snowboard film Optimistic. You actually made it. Yeah. Late. <laughs> right, man. Good, yeah, good drive. I thought you were going to call before coming. We're leaving tomorrow. Everyone? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, nice. that's fine, <laughs> 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 I was choking about it a week ago that he would never show up. Like, it's way too late to show up. The pot of gold. <laughs> Is it a pot of gold? There's some gold in there, I'd say. Because your segment needs it. Oh, yeah. This is the time of year when I'm the least stoked every year. I feel like, oh my god, we need more footage. I'm really stoked that we stuck it out until it got good again. So what's going to save the movie? It's going to for sure save it. Well, it's going to save certain people's segments anyways. When are you, when are you going to be in Kauai? Uh, 10 days. 10 days. By having the title Optimistic, it really kind of put a magnifying glass on myself. Now, am I optimistic? Am I pessimistic? And it really made me aware of how pessimistic I can be sometimes, especially right now, you know, at the end of the season when I feel like we don't have the shots that we need for the movie. We still have the right conditions to make it work out. Yeah, I want to get a couple runs just to ride a little bit. I've been sitting around for so long. For a lot of the crew, the Euros, the US guys, I mean, everyone hanging together and being able to finally ride together is really cool because most of the year, people are separated in their little crews, different places, and they hear what people are doing, but they don't get to actually see it. Tilvan showed up in Alaska. We went to the past first day, and first day, front side nine, boom, you know, like the first kicker. So it was pretty sick, you know, to see the kids just coming through, you know. And it's been like that every single day we went out. Ah, it, it was cool. It's been a pretty <laughs> year where there was a lot of snow, there was lots of weather, and you know, where there was no weather, there was no snow really. No snow in Europe. Japan wasn't that good. California, Utah didn't get a lot of snow. BC is pretty much the only place that had snow. Most snowboarders I talked to this year were like, yeah, I've had two good days, I have three shots. With the right spot, with the snow condition, with the absent crew this year, I'm really glad for that. You know, it's always good to come back on a good winter on the board after a surgery. The battle I've been having all year is just like, is it is this worth it? Is this worth it for me? Like, can I pull this off? I just want to snowboard, you know? <sighs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> Cold ass boogers in my nose and all that. This year was being blamed on global warming, which really affected snowboarding. I think how much effort and how much it actually takes to not pollute the earth. Air travel, if I would not use snowmobiles, if I, I would not be professional anymore, I guess. I'm really trying to find my passage. Chase the snow, fly 140,000 miles a year, which is a huge pollution. And that's just for my little ass to get some fresh snow. What could I do to use that in a good way? If you want to snowboard, just take care of, of your body, take care of 
of everything. We are a part of the system. We are not above the system. So you see now like why everybody uh, is in admiration in front of Marco because it's just always charging. Whatever he's riding is charging. <laughs> yeah. no. Having the Eagle Crest segment at the end is just, there's not technical enough riding going on. It's fun, but it's like fun early on when maybe more like e-brake style or questionable lyrics come at the end for the people that might not sit through it all. It works perfectly as the film closing segment. It has the energy. Like Nicholas has the footage. So you're saying then when mom shuts it off, it's not as big as Yeah, it's like it's, it's <laughs> over anyway. <laughs> Good evil lighting on your face right there, right now. Don't forget it. Yes, uh, one of the things that's huge is you got to have a solid relationship with the rider. If you're out here and those guys are ready and you're not ready and you're busy talking to the camera like some amateur, I mean, you're going to miss stuff. Yeah! I got it! You might want to do it again though, I'm not sure if you got the grab.